been a lot going on, obviously, in our family the last uh, month. Uh, it's been difficult. Uh, we've been there for my mother. Sean's been there all the time, every night. And the grandchildren have all been there. I've been trying to get over there as much as I can in the daytime to sort of relieve Sean's so we do sort of the things of life and whatnot. But given who my father was and who I am, I felt compelled to write something. My mother didn't ask me to write a eulogy, so I felt the most appropriate thing would be a poem. And I needed some alone time for that. And uh, on Tuesday, I got that. I talked to my mother. She seemed okay at home, as if she sensed that I needed this time. But it wasn't something that I wanted to do. I mean, I woke up that morning, actually, woke up early, had, had a cup of coffee, which I normally don't do, energized, trying to get energized to write this poem. I didn't want to go there. I wasn't ready to explore those feelings. So um, I turned around and saw this giant stack of bills that I'd been letting pile up, and I was, oh, thank, thankfully, I have to do that first. And I went through all those bills, and then they were paid, oh, no, now what do I do? Unfortunately, oh, I had all this real estate stuff I had to do. I had to call the you know, mortgage company and the insurance company. Thankfully, I had to do that, and that was done. So at some point, I had to, like, face it. I had to write something. What am I going to write? So I started reading his poetry, looking at his paintings. And um, I read much of uh, his book, uh, Young Apples and the Book Tree. By my count, he mentioned death 22 times in that book. However, most of his art was a celebration of life. But as a starting point, I started with his poem, uh, Death is an Old Man. And I wrote this poem on a Tuesday evening. And my mother wants me to read it. It's titled, On the Death of My Father. So at last you forever sleep in that old man's embrace. You wrote and spoke of him often. And now I've seen his face. We have not heard death's final call, nor felt his icy hand. So I turned to what we know life, and I knew yours firsthand. To have lived with so great a mind certainly left its mark, yet brilliance some, sometimes shuts as black, and contrasts often stark. But when you shine, you lit the world. Splashing colors sublime, painting on canvases of souls, ideals sketched out in rhyme. You adored flowers, history, oh yes, and talk of sex, from body jokes to sensuous verse, twas the best of subjects. War hero, scholar, and genius, all descriptions I've heard, yet most loved that sense of humor and zeal for the absurd. You were above all romantic. Such passion offered in. God, those love letters you wrote her, she loves you now as then. You are where you knew you would be. How we will miss you, Dad. I live in delight by your heart and will not be sad. You live and left it for all of us forever. 